If you ever want to see what a data item in your Pi system has been doing over time, you'll be using the multiple value queries right here. And in this video, we're going to be looking at sample data. And to contrast that, we're going to contrast it to compressed data. Um, so what is, we're going to be using sinusoid at first, just because it's a great example of this. I'm asking for the data for sinusoid from Monday to Tuesday using compressed data and Monday to Tuesday using sample data. Now what sample data allows me to do is I can define an interval a very clean interval so one hour and I can see that I've got values for sinusoid every hour right there and it's very nice it's really clean now contrast this to compressed data the Pi system is going into the archive and pulling up the raw values now these raw values aren't necessarily going to be on even pretty time intervals and maybe that's what you want in which case you want to use compressed data but if you want inner clean intervals you'll be using sample data this is particularly useful if you want to compare many pi tags against each other. So if you wanted to compare 10 pi tags against each other on the hour every hour, you'd probably be using sample data. And this is what it looks like. So sample data, even intervals, compressed data, maybe uneven intervals, but it's all the raw value, so it reproduces this, this uh, trend. What sample data is doing is it's merely interpolating between these points. So this point right here, well, that's an interpolation of compressed data right there. That's all it is. Now, there's one danger that can go on here is if you, if you, yeah, here it is. If you use an interval that's really small, like four hours, well, maybe you're going to be missing out on some of the peaks. So you can see here, we're not, we're not really seeing this as a sinusoid anymore. And maybe this is what you, all you want. You want to know what was going on with the process at every four hours. So let, now let's put together a sample data query. First, you'll click on sample data, and then we'll see what we need. So we first off, we need a data item. That's the Pi system tag or the Pi system asset that we want to see data for. Then a start time and an end time. So that's the start and finish of how long we want to see data for. And the time interval. How frequently do we want to see data? And then the output cell. Well, where on the sheet do we want it to go? All right, so to start off with data item, we need to add that to our sheet. So I'll just close this and say data item. And now I'm going to search for it. And I'll find what I want. So fuel, fuel oil flow. And if I click this, double click on it, it's brought into my sheet. Fuel oil flow. And then I need the start time and the end time and an interval. The start time, let's say um, we want to know everything from yesterday morning till this morning. So we use Y, that's pi shorthand for yesterday, and we use T, that's pi shorthand for today. And interval, 1H. So that's how interval, how interval what the interval is we want to use. And then we'll write sampled data and click on sampled data. Now we just link these up. So you click in the dead items field. You click on B2. Well, that's where my data item is. Click on st the start time field. And now I'm going to click on B4. That's where my start time is. End time field, B5. Time interval field, B6. And the output cell. So now I'm going to click where I want it to go. That's right there. It's already taken care of. And I can click apply. And then if I want to see timestamps, I can just put this check mark box here. Click apply again and I'll see timestamps. And you can see it's coming in every hour, right like that. Boom, boom, boom. And we see the values right there for each hour. If I want to see a different frequency, all I need to do is just change the cell here. I don't even need to have the wizard open. I can just say three hours. And now it changes to every three hours. I can change it to every 30 minutes. And we'll see every 30 minutes. I can also change the interval or the time I'm asking for. Maybe I want to see what was going on a week ago. So yesterday minus seven days and today minus seven days every hour. And we can see now we've, we've gone back a week to March 7th. All right, now that's the basics of sample data.